Okay, so this is the start of a, a new series of tutorials on a new computer program, one that I've been using for a lot of years, uh, and that's uh, PTC's MathCat. And it certainly has changed and uh, uh, evolved over those uh, decades of, of use. Uh, so I'm an engineer. Uh, I use it as a tool, but I'm also a teacher. And MathCat is particularly well suited for being expressive as far as what you're doing. So for when it comes to teaching, uh, it's a really great tool. Um, so I'm going to put up a, a whole series of uh, short uh, videos that hopefully will walk you through the key elements and also allow you to go back and relearn things because I end up doing that a lot because uh, I don't use every new feature all the time. So I have to relearn them when I need them. Uh, and uh, we're going to get to it. So we're going to start off uh, just by looking for a decent template, try to set up our template so that we're happy with the way our sheet looks and it works for our workflows. Uh, so uh, let's get on with that and then we can roll through the various bits. So I'm just going to go to a blank sheet that you would see when you open up uh, MathCAD for the first time. Uh, I'm just going to back out, zoom out a little bit here. So, so we see this page and it's in portrait mode and you see we have a grid showing and you know fairly large one inch borders and, and so that doesn't really work for my workflow i like to use the page use it effectively uh, and so i'm going to set up my template uh, the way i would like to, to to use it and so the first thing i'm going to do is so i'm going to go up here uh, to the document tab and uh, see if i can't set it up so i like to work in landscape uh, so it comes up as default portrait. So I'm going to change that to landscape and I want to use more of the space. So I'm going to reduce my margins and you can do anything up to custom margins, but I'm just going to choose narrow. And quite frankly, I want my grid to be a little bit finer and that's a, a nice look. Now in engineering, of course, we like to have some, uh, information uh, presented, uh, who the author of the document is, what page you're on, that type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my header and footer uh, to reflect that. So I'm going to start down here in the footer and go over to the right hand side. And you see there's a number of pieces of information there. So I like to know what page it is, page one of or two of. Uh, the total number of pages. That's good information to have. And over on the other side, it's always nice to know uh, the path to the file in case you have to actually locate it on your uh, uh, hard drive. And then I'm going to go up to my header and I'm just going to put in some text. So I'm just going to control T to put in a text box over here. MathCAD tutorials, we'll put that in there. And then I'm gonna put my information over to the right hand side. And so I'm gonna start. I like to have my little branding emoticon there. So I'm just gonna stick him in the corner. And then I'll just copy and paste that in from where I've done this previously and take ownership of the document. And so really what I want to do is I want that to be my template so that when I create a new document, it starts with all of that information every time. And so to do that, I'm going to go up here to the uh, little globe, if you will, uh, put it down, choose Save As, and I'm going to save it as a template. Now, the important thing here is to save it in the folder where you want all your templates to be gathered. And then we're going to tell MathCAD where that template is. And so you see, I've got a couple templates here already saved. And so this is going to be tutorial template. And I can save it there. And I note my path because when I've done that, what I need to do is I need to go into the options and go into options and you'll see here's where we specify uh, an alternate folder uh, for templates and one uh, choose the default template. And so I've already set that up, but you would basically just go to it, say OK, and then browse to the actual template itself and choose OK. So I've already set that up, so I don't need to do that, but that's where you would do that to get your template. 
And so with that, we've got our template done and we're ready to kick off and start creating uh, the tools that we're going to use in MathCAD. And so come on back. We're going to start by entering in basic formulas, defining variables, that type of thing. And so uh, I think we've got a lot to offer and we're going to try to do it up in just short little tutorials so you can go back whenever you need to to look at a particular piece. So I'll see you in a bit.